hello! Welcome to Marshmallow Reads. I'm Marcy and today I'm going to talk about the best and worst book covers from 2021. These are just gonna be my opinions, like if you disagree with any of these, that's fine! This is just for fun. Okay, let's get into the best ones first. Starting with Cloud Cuckoo Land. I have seen this book all over the place, but I have no idea what it's about. All I know is that it's a historical fiction and by the same author that did All the Light We Cannot See. I'm not the biggest historical fiction fan, so I have not really cared about it much, but this cover has intrigued me every time I've seen it and I've been like this close to actually looking into it, but eh. This book I actually read, this is Push. I was browsing my library in person, which was very fancy and nice, and in the new releases section I saw this book among many others, but this cover absolutely drew me in. Like the shade of like minty greenish blue of the background and then the like ink blot of the two faces, like it's so good. I had no idea what it was about and then I picked it up and I, it's a horror. I liked it. <laughs> This is a recent read, Reprieve, another cover that just drew me in immediately. I think I first saw this cover on NetGalley. I think I did not get the early arc or whatever, but I did pick it up once it was published and this is a very good book. It was a social horror, very spooky, and I think the cover does a very good job of demonstrating just how spooky this is going to be. Like, look at that tree. It is terrifyingly like, woo, all in the wind and stuff. Mm, spooky. This one I did read the arc for. That's Under the Whispering Door and there's just something about the bright colors of this one. Like the house is like, you know, physically impossible but it is absolutely super cute and very bright and colorful and, and it's just, uh, it's like the sort of whimsical fantasy that I really enjoy. Sometimes, not all the times, but in this case I really liked it. And then behind the house you've got this big shadow of the deer and you don't immediately know why it's relevant but it, it makes sense later in the book and it's just it's magical and wonderful. This is one that I have zero idea about. I just found it on a list of books published in 2021. It's Child of Light. Uh, it's a YA fantasy and oh, it reminds me of uh, Over the Garden Wall a little bit just like because of all the ivy going on here and like this mysterious door that this person's going through. Like, I don't know, it's just, it seems like a magical portal to another land that I very much want to go through. And it's just like, oh, and, and I think, I don't know if those are like fireflies or what, but there's all this like twinkling little like bright lights in the back too. And how the ivy is intertwining with the letters in the title. It's just another very good magical feeling and I like it. Here we have this gorgeous one, Iron Widow. Uh, this one has a very warm color palette going on with our, I guess, main character in the middle here. She's striking a pose. Ooh, I found the author's rating or review of this book on, on that book's page and she has this meme version of the cover with like this Yu-Gi-Oh! card master arm thing going on and it's very good but anyway back to the actual cover uh so this is a ya sci-fi fantasy thing and it, you can definitely tell from the cover at least to me she's wearing some sort of suit which makes sense because it's like a mecha story so she's piloting some sort of big mech with like a guy i guess it's very similar to darling in the franks that anime if you've heard of it and i'm so ready to see what's going on there. But this cover, when I first saw it, even before I knew what was going on, I, I was just hooked. There's something about the, the solid color of these feathers and how they like are overlapping her and like enveloping her. Like, I don't know, it's, it's very flowy. I don't know, it's good, it's very pretty. Another very pretty book that I also bought Ooh, like six months ago, I need to also read this one. She Who Became the Sun. This is a historical fiction, but it's fantasy. So it's not necessarily like grounded in reality. I think, I'm not entirely sure, but I am excited to find out. But this cover, when I saw it, I immediately was drawn in because of like 
the ink bleed effect. So you've got the sun in the background, nice big warm orb <laughs> and the oh, even the back yellow like it could have just been a flat yellow but there's some variation in the yellow here like a little bit of more orangey spots here kind of like I don't know like wispy sort of and then you have the cavalry down in the bottom and with like the leader there on the horses and stuff and just just the black ink of, of it all is very very interesting me. I, I, I was very drawn to it. I have not read this one. Uh, I don't know if I ever will, but I keep seeing it just in 2021 lists. Uh, the ones we're meant to find. This is a good example of humans on covers. I don't really like humans on covers. Like I, I'm realizing this, like it has to be the right kind of illustration style for me to like it because I'll show you some examples in the next category but a lot of the time it's like it's this weird in between between like super super simplistic silhouette figures and hyper realistic ones and this is definitely more on the realistic side which I think is good for me I think I like either end of that spectrum but it's when you get in the middle that it's just kind of weird and cartoony to me but this one i do really like i read this book in either september or october spooky season and it oh it delivered what this cover promised so this is a gothic horror which you can tell by like the lacy sleeve cuffs of this lady and like the weird like magician hand signals that she's doing like it's very good and and I just I remember seeing this cover on Goodreads and I was like what is this I need to read this like right now and it was like just after it was published so it's perfect timing I read it from my library and I I didn't quite devour it but I did get through it at a pretty quick clip and it was good it was very spooky love this cover love seeing it this is another one I found in my searches and I've not really seen much about it before. I haven't really heard much about it either. It is a YA fantasy retelling of what? I don't know, but it is gilded. And there's just something about the gold of the cage because you know, a gilded cage, I get that part. But then you've got like the spooky smoky background and then it's enclosing this town or something. I don't know it's just it looks very spooky and I like spooky maybe I'll like this because for whatever reason I haven't really read a lot of retellings before like way back in like the mid 2000s I read this Alice in Wonderland one. Oh yeah yeah it was uh the looking glass wars I know I read the first one I don't really remember much about it but this was the last encounter I've had with retellings but this gilded one even though it's still YA maybe could be more up my alley than other ones that I've heard of. And this cover is just, oh, it's getting to me. It's like, it's calling my name. I might have to check it out. And then the last one on our best list is For the Wolf. And I just really, really like this illustration style, like almost as if it was like paper cutouts. I'm imagining like if you had white paper and then you hit it with splotches of like this dark green paint and then cut out the shapes of the trees. That's kind of what I'm, I'm imagining. And then you put that over like watercolor backgrounds. Like it's it's very pretty, just the, just the background. And then you have this bright red for, I'm assuming Little Red Riding Hood, and then the silhouette of the town and a sword. Like it's, it's it's hitting it real good but I uh, it's another fantasy retelling I just I don't know if I care <laughs> enough to check it out but I am very curious all because of this cover okay on to the worst book covers I've seen in 2021 um again this is just my opinion I am just gonna be dumb about it like I the contents may be wonderful, but I'm gonna kind of make fun of the covers. This one I read, People We Meet on Vacation. I'm glad that I read this on ebook and I didn't have to stare at the cover every time I wanted to pick it up because it's just kind of off-putting. So this is what I mean by weird human illustration styles. Like it's, it's definitely cartoony, 
and it's I don't know if it's the proportions like especially like with with the girl in the front her arms look way too short to to the rest of her body like her torso is pretty long her legs are pretty long but then her she's got like tiny arms I don't know so sometimes proportions are weird on these characters but just the general like the lack of shading the lack of detail is just kind of weirding me out oh another example so another romance uh, it happened one summer i have not read this one i don't have any desire to read this one these these humans do have a bit more shading a bit more detail to them but it still lands in that weird cartoony area like oh it's like those um mobile ads that you see everywhere they they are just weird like barbies but like ugly barbies i don't know it's it's not for me <laughs> i i like i'm on the fence about this one uh with teeth this one i like the creativity of writing the words out with the teeth because it's it's got teeth in the title but it's still kind of ugly like i don't i don't necessarily like the color combination i don't like the the cutout the like yeah the cartoon cutout style of, of the lettering like it's just it's a little hectic for me like uh, I don't know and maybe it's also because it is teeth specifically that it's just giving me weird vibes <laughs> it's a boob <laughs> this one is milk fed um I, I guess it's a queer fiction I have no idea I, I have not read anything by this author don't really know what this book is about but I I see it online and it makes me giggle every time I see it because yes I am 12. I I don't know maybe it secretly is very good could be could be I'm not trying to dump on whoever illustrated this specific cover but these precious days not a very precious dog <laughs> I'm no artist like if I tried to recreate this or make it better I couldn't because I'm not very good so like props to whoever actually did this but i don't know it's just it's just a sad looking dog <laughs> like it just it made me laugh but i felt bad laughing i don't know it like it's fine it's cute it's fine it's just it's kind of funny here's a book i will never read uh, this is a court of silver flames like i know people who legitimately enjoy these books but i I'm not a fan of fairies in general and like fantasy romances not necessarily my thing either so I just it's just not for me but I know the silver in the title is there and I'm wondering if this background is meant to give off silvery vibes but it doesn't it's like a really sad gray like I don't think it's a warm gray which is good it's it's you know more silver than I don't know what else but it's it's a weird gray it's not necessarily a silver gray like I would I would expect this like a silver gray to be a bit more light in tone like I I don't know it's just it's it's not giving me silver vibes this one is giving me silver vibes but also it's so shiny it's like excessively shiny there's just something about this one it's just it's too much it's too much for my eyes. I don't know where to look. I want it. It's it's just, it's like the light being reflected in this. My eyes are just bouncing all over the place. It cannot settle down. <laughs> and it's just a lot. Like, why are you assaulting my eyes like this? <laughs> okay. I saw this one on a list. I forgot that it came out this year, but apparently it did. And I legitimately thought this was a joke. I thought that the person who made this book was making fun of him. So this is uh, supposed to be Tucker Carlson, but it's clearly like a, you know, caricature of him. And he wrote this. He must have approved this cover. Why? Like, <laughs> imagine if Charlie Kirk put the like meme version of his face, like the big head tiny face and put that on his book cover that's what this is giving me like 
why, dude? Like, oh god, yeah. So I, 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 I straight up laughed when I saw this one. So bad. <laughs> Legitimately looks like a meme. Oh god. Okay, this last one technically came out in like November of 2020, but I saw it and I like immediately saved it because what the hell is going on here? So this, if you can't tell immediately, because I would understand it's hard to read, how to slowly kill yourself and others in America. It's apparently a collection of essays. I have no idea. But this why there are other editions with better covers but this one how to slowly in America kill yourself others and that's what it's saying <laughs> it's like don't dead open inside but in book form like who who did this don't do that <laughs> bad I actually struggled a bit finding like bad covers, which is great. Like I, I don't like being that mean, but I could have gone on for way longer for like the best covers because there are just so many good ones. Like I don't know what it is about this current style going on in publishing, but it seems like it's targeting me and I love it. Okay, I hope you all have a wonderful week. Do something nice for yourself, do something nice for others, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!